Hey, what's going on everybody? Jeff Randall here coming to you from my humble drum shed out in Nashville, Tennessee. Today I want to share with you guys 10 famous rock grooves that'll build your chops. Each of the grooves we're gonna check out today have their own vibe, but they all have one very important thing in common, and that's that they use alternating 16th note strokes between the right and the left hands. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Over and over and over again, that's it. But you're gonna see that we can move that sticking around the kit in order to get a bunch of really cool, really fun beats. You're also gonna notice that it requires a good amount of effort to pull these beats off because your arms are moving the entire time. All right, let's get started. Groove number one is Move Along by the All-American Rejects. Later in that same song, the drummer starts to move the placements around the kit. He adds some toms, he adds some extra snare drum hits. It creates a different vibe. For Groove 2, we're gonna pick up the tempo and the intensity a bit with a song by Angels and Airwaves called The Adventure. Next up, we're gonna add a bit of funkiness with accents on the hi-hat and a different bass drum pattern. Groove number three is Summer Romance by Incubus. Groove number four brings a bit of linear drumming into play where a few of the notes on the hi-hat are left out. That gives the beat a more syncopated vibe. It's The City by the 1975. The next two grooves both continue to use that same 16th note pattern, but instead of keeping it mostly on the hi-hat, these drummers move the left hand down to the snare drum. That adds a bunch of little ghost notes underneath the main beat, and it just makes it sound more intense. Groove number five is Hypnotize by Audio Slave. Continuing with that same approach, but a bit quicker, we have The Sweetness by Jimmy Eat World at number six. Groove number seven is one of my favorites on the list because of its unique way of moving back and forth between the hats and the snare drum. It's McFearless by Kings of Leon. You may not have heard of this next one, but you should definitely go check it out because it is a burner. Groove number eight is Fire-Eyed Boy by Broken Social Scene. Groove number nine is one of my favorite drum performances ever recorded, and it's because of its raw, 
in the moment approach. It's Mr. Brightside by the Killers. And coming in at number 10, we have one of the most definitive and challenging rock grooves of all time. It's Everlong by the Foo Fighters. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it. If you're not wiped out after practicing all of these grooves, then I don't know what to tell you. You have more chops than me, that's for sure. I'll have transcriptions and practice loops of all the grooves and fills that I played linked down below if you guys wanna shed over this at home. Make sure and give me a like and subscribe and hit that little notification bell. I will see you guys next time. You take it easy. Bye-bye.